like they want to test your kind of sharpness of your mind that how will you tackle correct. these kind of things and currently i'm working with amazon as a software development engineer Hi and welcome to Coding Ninjas my friends I'm Kabir Singh and today I have a spectacular interview experience for you guys So today I have Aditya with me and he's going to tell us how he got into a company like Iron Trading So he cleared that interview and he had specific amount of rounds in that interview So let's talk to Aditya and get to know about him first and then we'll see what was the interview like So hi Aditya how are you doing Hello Hi Kabi I'm good my name is Aditya and graduated from Maharaja Agarwal Institute of Technology in 2021 uh-huh. and currently I'm working with Amazon as a software development engineer but That's great during my placement season I was selected by quite a few companies right after my college I worked with ZS Associates and mm-hmm. just recent back I joined Amazon as a ST That's great that's great So Aditya since you told us that uh, you got selected by quite a few companies out of which Iron Trading was one I would like yeah. to know how many rounds of interview did you give for iron trading basically like including the test that we used to give in the starting including the test there were four rounds one mm-hmm. is the test that is kind of prelims and that okay. used to clear can be we can be like call for interviews and for the mm-hmm. interviews there were three rounds mostly correct okay so let's first talk about coding test or you can say the online assessment first so what was there in the online assessment online assessment was kind of on one of the platform which is amcat like uh-huh. most companies used to get their test on on that platform okay. so the test was basically like some of the aptitude questions around okay. 30 to 40 odd mcq questions and <laughs> as far as i remember two to three coding questions okay. but in the range of medium difficulty and the okay. standard pattern not very much like any kind of application based but mm-hmm. on the standard one that we used to see in our so DSA. since you said the coding questions were on the medium level or something the entire online assessment for iron trading how much would you rate it easy medium or hard i'll rate it around medium but slightly above medium like not very hard but a little difficult than medium is what we can yeah, call it yeah because there is a time constraint in which mm-hmm. you have to complete right. and that that's one of the factor that help you like Correct. that will compute your result like right okay moving forward when you come up to the next three rounds what was the second round like like what was it the first round is this test and after that i was there for three rounds okay three interview rounds and okay. with like first interview round is of the dsa like mm-hmm. mostly other interviewer ask the questions of okay. coding and either in java like whichever language the person is familiar with, with. Yeah. yeah but they are mostly regarding to coding questions mm-hmm. maybe standard maybe some application based depends on the interviewer but like most of my friends and as well as i received the standard question that we already practiced in in the past like that okay so it was an on call dsa round we can say yeah yeah a kind of one hour long round okay. which i remember two questions were there and like from starting from the brute force approach we have to go till the optimized one to okay. till the intermediate part okay. approach we can follow now considering you already said that you and your friends got questions which you had uh, you know already practiced would you like mm-hmm. to give this a easy round or was it a medium or hard what would you call it the questions were a kind of medium to hard if one knows like one have practiced that kind of that sort of questions or questions similar to it then uh-huh. he'll find it good and easy to tackle okay and then moving to the next round once you get selected from the dsa and you go to the second round of the interview what was that about mostly like iron trade like the company like iron trading they mostly focuses on the puzzles that are kind of brain teasers the first round is just related to coding and after that both the rounds are kind of a mix of puzzles plus all the projects and also mostly okay. in the second round i got two to three puzzles uh-huh. which are like kind of we can see in like practice on geek for geeks or like that okay. so more of the brain teasers were, we can say yeah definitely these people you know trying to get off your uh, iq and get to know how quickly a person can handle problems or something like that you can say like they want to test your kind of sharpness of your mind that how will you tackle Correct. these kind of teasers because the questions have some or the other tweak in them which if the person can get them then he or she will be able to solve right. otherwise he might get confused in it and that's what they try to test out that how how patiently and how strongly you answer them right would you again call it a medium easy or a hard one what would you call it similar to it like i practiced for it from gfg and some of uh-huh. the past interview experience so okay. i found it quite easy 
but okay. person haven't done the puzzles then he might get ended up being confused or being like as the interviewer wants so he can shuffle him or her like right that. and i was also going through the article that you've written for us on coding ninjas you also mentioned mm-hmm. uh, that there were some questions related to oops operating systems and all right right so okay. basically mm-hmm. second round is the is the one that is like kind of a decider you can say in okay. which they ask you the puzzles uh-huh. and the kind of sharpness of your mind as well right. as oops on os on your uh-huh. technology how much technology you, you cater like that okay so guys if you also want to read you know his article you can find it in the description below i'll put up the link you can also go and have a look at the article that aditya has helped us out with for iron trading now moving to the last round aditya can you tell us more about the last final round that you had final round is also like it depends first of all that whether it can be hr round or the mm-hmm. mix of hr plus project like that okay. because some of my friends had a uh, quite a good last round with just uh-huh. having some of the questions few questions related to hr and like that but okay. i was also asked my projects and things that i have done in my projects so like how i handle the project and like those questions were there apart from it the hr questions were also there that where do you see yourself in 5 years and all the stuff like that so basically hr situational questions plus a little bit of technical was mixed in the final round where you got it right right you can okay. see like that that that's nice and again uh, ranking this to a difficulty level how much would you rank it it was a kind of in between easy to medium i'll okay. say probably easy because they just wanted to know that what are your goals and how will you do in the company like that i guess if you're good with communication out there that becomes a really easy round for you the hr round and you know all the situational questions if you're good at communicating you can just quickly snap them up with the answers out there right right if you know about your projects well and mm-hmm. what are the goals you'll be going to set in while just going in the company then this round will be very easy for you yeah i guess they just take a journey from your resume they just take a round and ask questions from the resume and all regarding the projects yeah yeah, yeah. you can say like they mm-hmm. try to say that okay can you explain what you have done in this particular project mm-hmm. and like even if we want to to mention them a project that is not mentioned in our resume uh-huh. oh so yeah we are free and they can say that okay you can go on with with any other project like okay that. that's really great so moving to the last question that i have for you aditya i just want you to tell us just a few tips or tricks to the juniors or the people watching this video that you know following them we can easily get good placements so what would be your suggestion to the people watching my first suggestion will be to practice dsa a lot because okay. like most of the companies are through with dsa rounds at least either mm-hmm. one or two and many right. of the top companies get it to three as well so okay. dsa is important the uh-huh. second thing is companies like maybe iron trading or zs associates for which i said for the interviews they mostly also try to kind of ask some brain teasers right. to see that okay since you are facing the interview and you are sitting in front of the interview then how your mind is going on correct right regardless of the question or the, the coding question that you might have practiced they will ask something out of the blue they want to test that okay what you will do if you are in this situation so correct you can practice that kind of question but like you should practice because mm-hmm. like the puzzles and all like if you won't get the same question but like most probably will get some or the other nearby to it or application right. of it okay. yeah okay that's that's really nice and i really thank you aditya for helping us out with this interview experience also guys again a reminder if you want to read the article you can check it in the description below and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much aditya and i hope to see you in another video with me and i'll see you in the next one yeah thank you so happy much happy coding guys Bye. thank you so much